Uh, thank you very much. That was uh, some music that I was able to take of Joel Guzman and Sarah Fox at, uh, at uh, Central Market, uh, which is owned by HEB. It's not uh, Whole Foods. Oops, sorry. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, Peggy Vasquez, and this is your Hispanics Day program for June the 14th. And uh, it's been a while since I've had my friend Chloe here. Hi, how are you? Hi, Peggy. Good to see you. Same here. And uh, Chloe's get here to give us an update about our dear friend, Ramsey Muniz, who's in incarcerated, who's been incarcerated now for about 20 years or so. So you want to give us a little update about what, what's going on, where he's at, and what's it look like for yes. him? First of all, he wants to extend the gratitude to people that are helping him in this task. And he, uh, he also wants to personally thank you and I. Oh, you know. good. Yeah, we're a team. Watch out. So, right. <laughs> uh, uh, absolutely. Latina power. Yeah. I know that I was telling Chloe earlier when I put it on out there in Facebook and different, my mailing list and stuff about uh, having Ramsey, there's always, you know, four or five responses, if not more, people, we love him, you know, he's our man, he's suffering, and so I just kind of want to put that out that how even though he's been incarcerated for 20 years, people remember our leader. Yeah, we will never forget you, Ramsey, ever, ever. Um, I do want to um, talk a little bit about him, if people don't know, sure. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Ramsey has been unlawfully and unjustly imprisoned for over 20 years. He su has suffered like no one else has in the prisons of America because of his innocence. His family has also witnessed his suffering in solitary confinement for having sought human rights. Throughout this time, many throughout Texas and California have expressed their gratitude to him, knowing that he is politically incarcerated for life. So please, everyone, keep writing and contacting, you know, Los Politicos uh, to free him. And we are getting closer to getting him out of the facility where he's at because that facility mm -hmm. is a very dangerous facility. It is on lockdown most of the time this last month. And they, what does lockdown mean? Lockdown means that there is rioting and violence, severe violence going on in this prison. And really... Um, and when that happens, there's no outside communication? There's there? no outside communication at all. In fact, he hasn't been able to communicate with his wife mm -hmm. for over a month until uh, today. She decided she was going to try her luck, if I may mm -hmm. say that to see if maybe she can see her husband this weekend and we're praying. We pray together and we also ask everyone for your prayers in whatever language, whatever faith that you have, mm -hmm. please, all different cultures in our world. So, um, you said a little bit about his history. Now, he went to Baylor University, he came out a lawyer and I know he had very humble beginnings of uh, his family. He would deliver the newspaper and just do whatever he could in order to support but his piscamos, family. Yeah. You know, and me, I, as soon as I started walking, I too, you know, went mm -hmm. into the cotton fields like Ramsey did. We grew up with Ramsey. We, mm -hmm. we spent time together. He saw our poverty yeah. and he wanted to change that. And as a result of that, we do see what where it has gotten him. Mm -hmm. But he took on many uh, legal legal battles uh, for... Pro bono, no, no charge, right? A absolutely, and uh, the legal battles that he took was to help our immigrants de Mexico, and so I also, les quiero uh, hablar a la gente de Mexico, los inmigrantes que por favor que nos oigan que este señor fue el primero con valor que corrió para gobernador porque en esos tiempos estaba peor que ahora, y si pueden creer eso, el sufrimiento y estábamos tan pobre, so él tuvo el valor a, col, a correr por gobernador y ahora le estamos pidiendo a ustedes también que hablen de él o que se eduquen y si sí se pueden educar en freeramsey.com okay. en la computadora. And, uh, yeah, if we get a character, CJ on there. So he basically ran for governor twice. That was yes. in the 70s. 72 and 74. And he received a lot of uh, mm -hmm. he was, uh, he was votership. 800 some, 800 some thousand uh, you know, votes. And back then in the 70s, that was quite a bit. And then also he was the founder of La Raza Unida. La Raza Unida. And Ramsey wants everyone to know that we know historically La Raza Unida, it arose from Crystal City. And so I also want to say that that we're thankful for the celebration of our partido, La uh, Razonida, and Crystal City that she'll ever have in history. Um, 
we didn't lose that election, he wants to emphasize, because it was a campaign of awakening for our people, nuestra gente, uh, who had never been involved in politics. And today, there are a lot of successful people, including members in my family, be, if it, it hadn't came been out of for the, Ramsey, yes. Yeah, they came out yes. of the Russian Party. Gave, he gave us that courage, mm -hmm. uh, just like other people, they, you know, we were going to get a piece of the pie, mm -hmm. too. I want to mention here that uh, that supportramsey.blogspot.com, you can go to that website and you can uh, find samples of letters and also information where to write letters to Ramsey because, yes. of course, we need to know his exact address. So I just want to... Uh, to mention that, uh, people can write that down. So this past uh, couple of weeks or so, LULAC, the state uh, LULAC, had a convention. Is that right? Yes, yes, a couple of weeks they ago. And they were, uh, I guess, LULAC District 7 uh, wrote a resolution on behalf of, of Ramsey. Is that right? Yes, and if I may, I want to uh, read it. It's, it's okay. short. Um, you know, thank you very much, District 7. Juez Ramiro Ramsey Muniz, a great civil rights leader of the Chicano Movimiento, who advocated for freedom and equality for all Mexican Americans and Latinos throughout America. And whereas Ramiro Ramsey Muniz represented the best and brightest advocates for the poor and the underrepresented Latinos in Texas and became a Texas gubernatorial candidate in 1972 and 1974 for La Raza Unida Party. And whereas through his work as a community volunteer, Ramsey Muniz brought significant social educational, political, and economic advancements for Mexican Americans, Hispanics, Latinos, and other Americans throughout Texas, the Southwest, and nation. And whereas Ramsey Muniz's advocacy increased his vulnerability to prosecution that ultimately resulted in his imprisonment without the possibility of parole, which sentence constitutes cruel and unusual punishment for such a worthy man. And whereas Ramsey Muniz has now spent over 20 years of his life unjustly imprisoned far and from far from his family and friends he has continued to suffer greatly he is 70 years of age poses no threat to his community on the contrary his release would benefit the latino community the league of united latin american citizens lulac acknowledges ramsey's civil rights work on behalf of latinos and Ramsey Muniz and also recognizes that presidential compassion is merited in this case. Therefore, be it resolved that Texas LULAC supports the efforts of the National Committee to free Ramsey Muniz and requests that President Barack Obama grant Ramsey Muniz an immediate commutation of sentence, freedom for Ramsey Muniz. Great. And one of the things that uh, you mentioned a little bit about it earlier, now he's in Beaumont, is that right? He's in Beaumont, yes. And uh, when the judge, uh, you know, wrote his papers up, he was supposed to go to Three Rivers. And that was uh, violated by, by the court. He, okay. he, they didn't, they moved him all around the country. And these are members here of the National, uh, National Legal Defense Team or the National Organization for... Yes, Ramsey, is yes, that right? There's yes. Irma, his wife, and there's Ramsey there there's, with the white shoes. Yes, Dr. Allen Bean um, with the Friends of Justice and uh, Ernesto. Um, so um, if, if you want to, I don't know that we'll, be, we'll have time to talk about the double jeopardy. Okay, so well, we can, we'll go into the, the communication. But we do have the address, you know, to communicate okay. with the warden in Beaumont. Okay, and so people can can write or fax or how do you want them to? Um, at this point we're not doing any emails. We are only uh, receiving either faxes mm -hmm. or what was that? Uh, telegrams, but telegrams are so expensive. expensive. So basically you want uh, people to write, uh, I'll request them to write to Ronald Rogers, uh, pardon attorney. Yes, he's a pardon attorney. And that attorney. fax number is 202-616-616. Uh, uh, well, that's the uh, phone number, but the the fax number, 202-616-6069. And basically, people can just uh, do, um, a, you know, I'm so-and-so, or you don't even have to say who you are, but that basically you, you're writing on behalf of Ramsey Muniz to get him to transfer to uh, Three, Rivers, Three Rivers and then also uh, hopefully out of, or, out of prison. Or even into the Bastrop facility because we want to emphasize how dangerous it is where he's at. Um, there are fatalities that occur in that particular prison. Mm -hmm. um, they're on lockdown most of the time, 
and Ramsey's not able to eat either because he eats out of the vending machines because of a previous time where he was poisoned. So this man is, is suffering terribly, mm -hmm. and we're asking for all people, and this is a humanitarian effort, too, that we all need to participate in and know that Ramsey does not forget any of us Mexicanos or Indios, indigenous people, mm -hmm. you know. So um, the warden's name at that facility where, where um, Ramsey's at is Mr. C.V. Rivera, and that address is FCC. Is Beaumont. there another paper there that you gave her, or is that? Is she, yeah, she, I think she has that one, too. Okay. But if she doesn't, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it orally. Okay. It's FCC Beaumont Medium, P.O. Box 26045. Beaumont, Texas, 77720. Okay. But, um... So basically now, I guess we have just a little bit of time, or did you, did you finish with that? Or? Yeah, you were, we're done okay. with that. Okay. Uh, I was reading uh, some information that you sent me about the National Legal Defense Team. Uh, I guess it's made up of Ruben B. Bonilla and Samuel or Cortez? No, Boteo. Boteo, I'm sorry, bon Bonilla, I'm thinking about the The Bonillas were from Ruben Corpus, Bonilla. too. I we're all from said, Corpus. I, said you, I guess you talked about LULAC, and Ruben Bonilla used to be president, so Boteo and Samuel okay. Cortez. And they're basically uh, looking at Ramsey's case in regards to the Fifth Amendment of Double Jeopardy and uh, whether it was, you know, the same court and the same offense or... Uh, do you know, can you explain a little bit? I, about I can, you know. Okay. That, that is a clause that is supposed to protect you okay. against harassment. And um, even that has been voided okay. for Ramsey. It's, it's like um, all, all of the legal papers were, they didn't ever exist for Ramsey that, you know, they were just going to mm -hmm. throw him in, in jail. And uh, lawyers didn't even know that you know, um, the original orders by Paul Brown were to send Ramsey to Three Rivers near Corpus, and instead they sent him everywhere. So th th what that is, is courts interpret the double jeopardy clause as accomplishing goals by providing three distinct rights, a guarantee that a defendant will not face a second prosecution mm -hmm. after an acquittal, a guarantee that a defendant will not face a second prosecution after conviction, and a guarantee that a defendant will not receive multiple punishments. This mm -hmm. is this is true, and it's written, but that is what has happened to Ramsey. Okay. So this basically this national legal defense team of made up of Mr. Uh, Boteo and Mr. Cortez are basically looking because there's a lot of there are some attorneys that are helping Ramsey with his case because he's in, incarcerated. So. And they're basically dealing with Irma, his wife, and they're they're looking at that. Okay, yeah. So, uh, what I feel like what we need today from the audience and the viewers that are listening in is that, of course, Ramsey loves to receive letters, correspondence, and uh, Irma, his wife, is needing help with faxes to Ronald uh, Rogers yes. uh, in regards to his being transferred and, of course, of his being released. And then there's also a need for if people have connections with other political high officials, be it congressmen or senators, Absolutely. And, and which, you know, uh, those, that caliber of individuals would help in his, in his case of getting Ramsey re released, is that, is that Absolutely. so? Absolutely. You know, we, we're um, at that point where we're asking even our own uh, Mexicano uh, politicians, mm -hmm. if, if they're not uh, politicians anymore, anybody that has been you know, as a politician, that for some reason, you know, mm -hmm. is is good uh, no. to, to see. Because I, I think you're right. I think it's when it's what it's going to take. It's going to take the people, the people reaching out for Ramsey that he's right. incarcerated. Because right. it's a shame. He's a. Because a lot of people say he's a political prisoner, and here we are, 2013. And we have political prisoners, and and he didn't murder anybody. No, just to no, and 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 you know, I myself do this legal research too. There are cases where there's like murderers, you know, uh, mm -hmm. rapists, and it, it, the list is just unbelievable. Ramsey is nothing of that. Okay. You know. Well, I want to invite people to go to that website or also the website freeramsey.com. Chloe, we have about a minute or okay. so. What would let, you like let to Let me give them his address, okay, darling? Leave the people with. Uh, Ramiro R. Muniz, 
40288-115 is his ID number. Okay. FCC Beaumont Medium, P.O. Box 26040, Beaumont, Texas 77720. And I want to say uh, the last sentence that he wrote was to share with you. There was a political and spiritual awakening like never before. And I did win. I continue to win because history cannot ever be denied. I carried a cross and yes, I've been crucified. I still carry that cross in my heart and soul, and no one will ever take that away from me. Absolutely. And I want to, uh, there's the, uh, the fax number, 202-616-6069. Even if you just want to say, free Ramsey, you know, right. whatever you want to say, you're, you're free to do that, and that would, sure would help us. Uh, Chloe, we ran out of time. It's, time. it's really great Gracias. to have you, and we'll, we'll see you again.